Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Glad you showed up at the channel today. We are gonna learn a very exciting little operation in QuickBooks point of sale, if I do say so myself, and that would be, hey, how do you edit your items? Because you may have set your items up in the first place, but A, you didn't fill in all the fields because you were in a hurry, or B, something is wrong with the fields that you did fill in. So, we're gonna jump into the item list, but before we do that, I want you to click on the link down below and get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where people such as yourself can ask questions in a community format. We can talk about errors or workflow or training, or you could request a video for this channel. People such as me or other community members will answer you back and we'll have a great time. Otherwise, if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you get all the latest, greatest, videos coming out on the channel all the time let's do it we're jumping into the item list we are going to find something to edit because it wasn't quite right that's right right here my beeswax candle oh i've had such issues with my beeswax candle <laughs> you can see on the the right side that we have the detail pane and this may help you to illuminate things that you were entered in incorrectly and they're just not going right so or maybe it's some information that you didn't put in yet. So I'm gonna hit the edit button in the upper right here, and it's gonna pop up in the center with all of the wonderful information. Uh, you may also use this operation if let's say you're trying to track inventory, but it's just not working out. Let's say you get thousands and thousands of whatever it is in, and you have them in like buckets, and you're like, I'm not gonna count these. Why am I tracking these? You can actually switch from inventory to non-inventory, you do have to zero out your quantities before you do that using a quantity adjustment. But otherwise, that is something you could do while editing an item. But me, today, I was just gonna put in the SKU because I was looking at the catalog and every time I order this, the vendor has a problem because I don't include the SKU on my order. So this is gonna be, uh, let's see, we're probably gonna order this from Sweet Merch. And so it's gonna be SM. Uh, beeswax candle 17 so that's the skew or something like that maybe in their catalog and they would recognize it right away on the PO now that I put it in there otherwise you can also use this operation if say you want to add the UPC to an item because your clerks keep scanning the manufacturer barcode instead of the price tag uh, all of these things can help you out um, pretty much Anything in here can be edited. There shouldn't be any problem with it. It'll just change over as soon as you save it. You could add some extra description, your size, your manufacturer, all these different things. Uh, this one right here, I believe is actually a custom field that I put in. Uh, yes, this is a, con or no, no, this is not a consignment product. So there you have it. Uh, <laughs> one thing I might not recommend uh, messing with unless you really know what you're doing when you're editing an item is the QuickBooks account options. You can do that if you totally know what you're doing, but I'd say it's about 50-50 on people that mess with this. Uh, it's screwing something up. And so some people don't know how to do it. Some people do know how to do it and they know exactly what these are doing. If you don't know what you're doing with accounts and the account the item is attached to, don't touch it. All right, sound good. I'm gonna hit save. And now we have an updated uh, SKU for beeswax candle. And I would actually be able to ring somebody up using that SKU as well. But mainly SKUs, I would say, are used for ordering. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. Thanks for coming along on this adventure in editing a QuickBooks point of sale item. You have yourself a great day. Bye-bye now.